Here's a situation. You have a monthly spreadsheet showing the sales of all stores. What you need is a way to bring over the sales for a certain month to a different sheet without deleting or manipulating the data from the original. So let's take a look at the original data first. This is what I get every month. This is the way it comes to me. It's already filtered for the last completed month, but it is data for the full year, or at least it's set up for the full year. Since October is the last completed month, November and December down here at the bottom have blank sales. But everything's in there, and I have my store numbers, and they repeat. What would be nice is if I could use a regular VLOOKUP formula to bring over the appropriate sales. But a regular VLOOKUP formula isn't going to work because it's working on what's visible and what's not visible. It's going to pull back the first version of each one of these store numbers that it comes across. In this particular example, because I used a zero for exact. So this is really just total for January. So if I come back over here and I filter for January, they should match. 16825. 16825. Okay, so this is pulling January. It's always going to pull January. I can't use this. What I really need is a version of a VLOOKUP that works on visible data only. And I can do that by sticking a subtotal right in the middle of a VLOOKUP and making an array by hitting the Control Shift Enter keyboard function. So I've already done that. It's right here. Now subtotals work on visible data only. So right in this middle part, what's happening is it's looking at everything in the range, seeing if it's not blank, remembering that row, and then going to the appropriate row for the data in this range. In other words, the 3 for the subtotal signifies count A. It's going to mark all of this stuff. If I come over here and uh, look at this a little closer, you can see in the logical test, basically it's saying if this is visible, then come into this range and pull the appropriate data or the appropriate row. This is position one or column one, the store number, then comes the date, then comes the amount. So that's in the middle of a regular VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP is going to go to the store, then it's going to go through all of that, and then it's going to pull back whatever's in column three and exact match. And it pulls back a thousand dollars. And you pull this thing down, drag it all the way through the range, take my sum and bring it over and they match. Now this is surrounded by brackets so I did make this an array as I mentioned earlier by hitting the control shift enter key. Now let me come back over here and put this back the way it was on October. Okay 19975 that's what I'm looking for over on this sheet and that's what I got. So now this is working exactly the way I wanted to, a VLOOKUP on visible data only. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.